Hey, this is Scott from PRSSetups.com, place where you get two and sometimes three different builder setup packs for 20 bucks a month. If you're a loyal subscriber and got it for 15, keep it rolling. You'll keep going with that $15 a month price. So let's go for a lap at Chicago Land. All right, so this had probably about 25 laps on tires, uh, maybe a tiny bit more, but there's a lot of weird things that goes on here at Chicagoland, so hopefully you'll stick around for the whole video. Um, the first thing, we're going to go over in detail how to run it. So right here, we're going to cross over this kind of tar mark right here um, and you want to point it straight down to the bottom try not to arc it try to point it as straight as possible to the to the bottom that saves a little bit of the, of the tire that saves the right front tire and the other thing that I will tell you is you have to lift fully and as quick as possible if you even stay on the throttle for a little bit longer do a slow lift you're gonna burn your right front tire off of the car so make sure you lift as quick as you can you will notice when I lift it's it's very quick so you're you're basically dropping it down full lift full quick lift dropping it down hanging out on the bottom and then the first thing you need to watch for is right here where there's some marks on the white line and that's where you're gonna start uh, adding in throttle and then you notice kind of right past all of that where it goes back to a white line because that's kind of where people are running their lefts onto the line right here so make sure you are as close to this line as possible and you notice I'm almost completely full throttle when we're right at the end of here and you notice that it's uh, it's not a direct off to where you're up here by the light you are way out here um, Exiting, and of course, this back stretch is not straight. All right, coming down to the turn three and four, there is some tricky bumps through the middle, and right around lap 17, something to do with the tire model, it hates those bumps. So, you're going to want to go over that at 50%. And make sure that you're not loading down the rear real hard. Otherwise, you are going to skip across those and it's going to get loose. I don't care whose setup you have in it. It will get loose and you just have to be conscious of that. So if it starts getting loose, just drive through there with less throttle. It will glide right over the bumps. So let's go how you enter. So I am entering... A little shallower and you'll notice that right here the road gets kind of dark the track gets dark and you want to start your turn in right before it gets dark and really pointing it straight in you notice how on entry I am really close to this white line and it's the same as one and two you're gonna back off very 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 quickly and I backed off right about Whoops, sorry. I brought backed off right about right before where it gets dark here. So that's another point you want to watch for. And then you're back on throttle right where this white appears. And then all the bumps are going to be right through here. So right when the white appears, all of this is now bumps. So you might want to, when you get back on it, make sure you're 50% throttle and make sure you're just gliding over that. You know, size 50% for a little while, and then when you're past the bumps, you can gas it up and let's find the spot. There's not a, a lot of good spots here for the exit to gas up. You're just going to have to go by feel. I mean, there's a break here at the wall where it gets kind of lighter, um, and then um, there's like this chain uh, connection point here, but 
you'll kind of feel it in your wheel where you, where you can get off the, the corner. Then you'll work the throttle up the track and make a good exit. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you two really bad spots on the track that will absolutely upset your car really bad and you need to you need to really pay attention so i'm going to back up here there is a red line right here right before this caution light there is a huge bump right before this red line if you have any wheel cranked in it you will absolutely snap sideways so when you approach this red line let it drift up the track and unwind the wheel just slightly hit that bump and then you can put more wheel back in it but if you got your wheel cranked to say 45 degrees and you hit that bump it will absolutely snap sideways so this is one really bad spot i'm going to back up i'm going to show you another bad spot so if you're running high you're going to have to get used to that um, and the high line works. Uh, it's not as fast as the bottom line, but if you need to defend, absolutely positively go up there. So there is a second ghost bump. We in testing have hit it and we don't know exactly what's going on or what if it's a if it's a dive or if it's a bump up, but it's in the second groove. So if you are running with your left sides on this first seam, there is some sort of thing bump within this line here that will absolutely kick this car sideways. So if you're running, you either run the bottom on the line or you'll run well above this seam, maybe even to the second seam. So make sure you get up there so you avoid that bump. Uh, and that's kind of all I got for you this week. Save tires, full lift, that's the biggest thing on corner entry, full lift. Do not carry any throttle on entry. And when you get back to it, you know, let it coast for about a whole second and then get back in it. I promise if you have that pattern, you will absolutely save tires the whole run. And that's all I got for you this week. Good luck.